I actually cracked one of my molars on a Tootsie Pop a couple Ooh. years ago. Yeah, it sucked. Ooh. So how does, now I have how does a that crown. Even, how does that even happen? It's I, was, a I don't know. It's a toots, <laughs> freaking Tootsie Pop. Like, dang. I cracked my tooth on a Tootsie Pop out of all the stupid things. Like, dang. I didn't realize, like, you took the, the actual Tootsie Pop commercial to heart. You know, the owl, like, <laughs> lick, lick, yeah. and then crunch. That was and just crunch. Isaac. Yeah, yeah, that was me. That was me, exactly. Yep. <laughs> mentioned pre starting this recording that both of us caught knuckles today which that dropped yesterday Mm -hmm. Um, we're recording on the 27th knuckles dropped on the 26th on paramount plus do you did you have paramount plus before this or did you subscribe no because you were watching halo so you must have yeah i've had paramount plus for a while got it okay because i was thinking i was like if people don't they didn't get it for halo like what what would they have Paramount Plus for? I suppose if you're a big Star Trek fan, there's all the Star Trek stuff is on there. Yeah, I mean, I mainly got it for Halo. I mean, they do mm-hmm. have, um, they have Nickelodeon on there, so there they got yeah, actually is stuff. a decent amount of good stuff. Um, they do have like some of the decent for movies because I think uh, Mutant Mayhem was on Paramount mm-hmm. Plus. Yep. So like they have a decent the selection movies, for like movie, yeah. the Sonic movies, yeah. So, I mean, there was other stuff other than just Halo, but right. I mean, I think I think it's the cheapest add on because it's like only like four or five bucks. Mm-hmm. And like I just threw it on with my Amazon yep. Prime. So it's just the more all... right. The more content they get and the, and their Paramount Plus does a thing where they've got like some package with Showtime as well. Yeah. So I think you can get Paramount Plus with the Showtime package for like seven or eight bucks a month or something. Like right. That. Yeah. Like it's pretty, super it's cheap. pretty cheap. So it's not a terrible ideal, and there's a lot of good stuff on Showtime. So, um, I I remember, I think I did that like what you did the Amazon add on for Showtime for a bit because yeah. I'm I'm trying to remember. I probably was a Nicolas Cage movie that I wanted to watch or something <laughs> like that. I don't remember what it was for, but but I got like a seven day free trial, and then I think it was only a couple bucks a month on top of that, anyways. But it's kind of nice to get those like lower priced um platforms that you can still get decent content on like right. peacock peacock is still only like six bucks a month yeah i was gonna say too. peacock's also really really cheap and peacock i find myself actually using peacock a lot more recently mm-hmm. but i think it just kind of depends i feel like for me personally like i just go back and forth on streaming stuff so like i'll mm-hmm. watch one a bunch then you kind of go to another one right i mean it depends on what shows are coming you, out you, like what you're watching you gotten uh um have you gotten a free trial for Apple TV Plus yet? No, that's the next one on my list. I just, I know I need to. I just mm-hmm. haven't. There's like, there's like four shows that you need to watch when you, <laughs> when you do that. So oh, like, I know. If it's, I know. if it's, if possible, I know there's like Best Buy does one for sure. Obviously, Apple like products do, but you're not an Apple guy. But uh, there's like a bunch of companies that will give out like three month free trials with like purchases mm-hmm. of their stuff. Best Buy was doing it for a while, I know, but we'll have to we'll have to track it down for you. No, oh, for sure. Yeah, Ted Lasso is a must watch for you. I think you would really like for for Ooh. all mankind. Um, and you obviously would have to watch Monarch. Um, oh yeah, the Godzilla show. Absolutely. I'm trying to rem- remember what else. The other stuff it aren't. I I don't think they're like must watches, but there's still really good stuff on there. Like. Shrinking was pretty good with uh, Jason Segal and um, Harrison Ford. Um, the Morning Show with uh, Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon. It's all I wouldn't I wouldn't say those are like must watches, but oh, Severance Severance is a must watch. Yeah. That one is, and they're coming out with season two this year too. So that's when you should do it. That's when you should get it. It's probably probably the good time to do it then, because uh, I think they usually do weekly releases. So you should get the free trial right when the finale drops and just binge everything. Binge everything. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. That's Zane's kind of deal. Binging stuff. Big binging guy. Absolutely. 
big bing, binge drinker of uh, yep. Baja, Baja Blast. I, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. So back to Knuckles. <laughs> yeah. Right. Sort of a little tangent there. Um. I think I'm through episode four. You said you finished it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So no spoilers for the ending, obviously. But what do you think of the uh, the series? It it is like interesting because six episodes they're each like half an hour long they're pretty short yeah. for a live action show i mean it is a comedy so right it makes it makes sense but i was expecting them to be a little bit longer just because it was live action right but they dropped them all at the same time right so it's See, easy easy show to sit and, and like we watched four of them this morning like without without even breaking a sweat it was right but then, yeah, then Svea wanted to play Minecraft, so we had to, you know, log off after that. So. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Svea. You, you only had two more to go. <laughs> I know, right? That's what I was, I was kind of like, okay. Like we're close, all right. All right. <laughs> all right. That's right, though. Uh, what did you think of the series, though? I enjoyed it. Like, it's just, it's fun. Like, you don't have... A, even going in it's not like you had like super high expectations or whatever but like the movie like it or not movie the show like it knew what it was it just you're just fun like i mean i'm not gonna like tell everyone that oh my goodness you need to go watch this right now but adam pally's hilarious um the dude who plays wade like Mm -hmm. he's uh, just he captures the whole like enough of a loser but also lovable and funny like he does that really well. Right. But I think my thing of it was is um with with the show, like Knuckles isn't enough. I mean, obviously, even just from the games of like Knuckles isn't enough of a character to carry something on his own. Mm-hmm. And so like you have to have that Sonic or this Wade character. And that was my kind of thing of watching this. It was just like the the Wade is just the stand in like that would have been Sonic in the movie. Like he's right. basically Sonic in this, like how he acts kind of his humor. Like that, it's basically what it ended up being. I mean, Sonic's more heroic, but like that's, be- that's beside the yeah. point, <laughs> but it, it's just like, that was just the stand in. Like y- you mm-hmm. could have made this show and instead of having Wade, had it been Sonic and it would have been the same show. Right. Like it wouldn't have really changed. I mean, anything. if you called it Sonic and Knuckles, it probably would have gotten a little bit more traction. Right. Honestly. Right, like you could have done that, or as a movie, like whatever. Now, granted, that probably would have upped the budget because then it would need more true. animation That's other true. than just yeah. Knuckles. And then my only other beef with it too is for a show called Knuckles, like there are huge sections where it's just about Wade, mm-hmm. yeah. and there, it's very lacking Knuckles. And like, yeah. like okay, like you got to develop this story of everything that's going on, but like the story is way more about Wade than it is Knuckles. But <laughs> I mean, yeah. I guess that's a, a, a petty like. Like, again, like I'm not expecting Knuckles to be on the screen every time. Like I'm some, right. you know, Knuckles right. diehard. It's just like, but but yeah, it's just like, oh, it's we've hardly seen Knuckles this episode. You're mm-hmm. just like, oh, well, all yeah. Right. There was one episode. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Probably three or four. But like, yeah, Sonic was barely in it. It was almost all Wade, and I was just like, what's going on right now? <laughs> right. What is this? Well, uh, it, it's, it's the same towards the end, like even the last mm-hmm. two episodes, like there's very little knuckles. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the scenes knuckle does get are actually like pretty funny, but right. it, it, they definitely lean into the whole. It's kind of like Wade's story, his kind of mm-hmm. warrior hero arc or whatever. Right. But yeah. Especially those last two episodes. You're like, there were legit times I was sitting there and I was like, I haven't seen knuckles. Like what is knuckles doing while all this is happening? <laughs> And then, of course, it all, you know, crescendos at the end, and then it's the big fight mm-hmm. and stuff. But yeah, you're just watching it. You're just like, the show's called Knuckles, right? We're, right. we're just Knuckles. <laughs> like, but Not anymore. After after the show drops and they everybody's seen it, they're going to change its name to, to Wade. So. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think I echo a lot of your um, thoughts. I was coming into this expecting it to be somewhat similar probably a lot more similar than it ended up being to the films really what it comes down to and granted again this is me not watching the last two episodes so grain of salt with uh with all this but like jim carrey really elevates those sonic movies like him as robotnik is perfect casting Mm -hmm. um and i think 
that's what makes this series kind of just lacking is like the lack of a proper villain. And again, it's like Wade, like this is a, this is a funny show. So they don't really need a huge, terrible, big, bad villain right. um, to make this show. But a, a more a villain that carried a little bit more weight probably would have helped this story a little bit. And and yeah, that there was definitely that episode for sure that I was like, eh, where's Knuckles? Where, <laughs> what's going on here? Like, I, I, I'm all for Wade. Like, Wade's hilarious. Right. I enjoy him. Um, but yeah, it just, just feels like for a show, it's called Knuckles. And we all kind of expected it to be about Knuckles. There's uh, a lot less Knuckles than I expected there to be. Right. Um, but yeah, overall, I'd say it's pretty fun. I mean, like going into this, if you didn't like the Sonic movies, you're not going to like this. Right. Like, exactly. <laughs> it's it, it's pretty much along the same lines of that stuff, like just silly, goofy fun. And they kicked up the silly, goofy a notch yes. in the series. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I, there's a lot more heart and charm in the movies than there is yeah. in this this series, I think. Like when I was watching, I think it was the second or third episode. Um, I just like a thought crossed my head that this seems like a Disney Channel um, series or like a or a like a Nickelodeon, you know, like um, teen preteen show type of thing yeah. that that my daughter obviously loves. Like this is her that's her jam. But like me as an adult, I feel kind of a little silly watching because it's like right. a little over the top, especially when they went into like the uh, really goofy like CGI stuff. And it was just like, <laughs> OK, I, I guess I wasn't I was expecting this to be more like the movie where obviously you have Sonic, Knuckles, Tails. They're doing their CGI stuff, but the humans are doing human stuff because right they're human but wade and this uh the uh, bounty hunter dude yeah <laughs> they get into some really goofy stuff that's just he, like yeah what, what is happening right now and you're like oh okay all right then the the, <laughs> the movies definitely appeal more to a wider audience yeah whereas this is this show is definitely more geared towards its target audience of like younger exactly because it's just exactly. like goofy silly and you're just like like mm -hmm. again like, yeah, it doesn't have necessarily, I mean, it does have some as you get on, but it doesn't mm -hmm. have what the movies have. But even still, like I mentioned, like Adam Pally does a wonderful job as way. Like he's yeah. like, he he's nails fun. that character. He, like, it's just how he, like, he, it's just one of those things that you're like, this is a super goofy movie, but like he just leans into it. And yeah. you can tell he's just one of those actors that you're just like, I'm just going to embrace this. And just right. so, and like, he was actually to, fun to, to make watch. this work. Right. Like, right. if you're not into it, like, and this is, this is where I, I'm going to go back again to the Sonic movies, like Jim Carrey. I mean, and this is him in every role too. It's not, this is not just like a, a Sonic specific thing, but like he goes all out for mm -hmm. his roles. And if he didn't go all out, it, they just wouldn't be as fun of movies right. that he's in because he that's that's what he does he just gives 110 percent to whatever role he's doing and sometimes that does mean he overacts a lot right uh, but <laughs> most of the time the characters that he's playing it totally works yeah uh, to do that overacting so you know and and he uh what's his name again the guy that plays wade adam pally adam pally uh he does the same thing. Like he gives yeah. 110% to this role and the, the series is obviously better for it. Like if you got somebody right. who wasn't all in, you might as well just not make a show at that right. point. Right. Cause, right. Cause like if you had somebody that was just the normal guy alongside knuckles, the series would not. No, out. no, you, you, <laughs> you had to have someone to carry it. Cause like I said, right. like knuckles doesn't have enough, like his character, the person like he doesn't have enough to carry a show. Like you have right. to have that kind of enigmatic main character to kind of mm -hmm. carry it. And that's what they have with this show. They yeah. crushed it on that part. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, overall fun show. Uh, obviously I've got a couple of episodes left to finish it out, but I don't think based on what I've watched so far, my thoughts will really change on, on the rest of it. But overall I would give it a, I'd give it like a four and a half, 
of of six. Yeah, that's... Solid, fun, entertaining. My kids are probably going to watch it over and over again. So you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll probably watch a bunch of it. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I'm exactly with you there, too. Like, it's a four and a half. Like, it's it's fun. I'm not going to tell people you need to go watch it or whatever. But, like, I enjoyed watching it. So mm-hmm. I, I yeah. think, yeah, four and a half yeah. decent score for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good stuff. I think uh, in seeing the uh, casting for uh, Shadow in Sonic 3, Keanu Reeves is going to play Shadow. Mm-hmm. I'm much more excited for Sonic 3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> after hearing that than after watching <laughs> the Knuckles show, which I don't, I don't know. Again, the last two episodes, maybe they've got some. Do they have any Easter eggs for like the Sonic 3 or not really? No, not really. Okay. No. So it's just That's basically fine. a self-contained. Just like a standalone, like yeah, yep. self-contained, which is fine. Like if they're going to do that, I think that's OK, especially since like kids love the like my kids love these movies. So like, right. yeah, give us more like self-contained, goofy shows like this. Right. My, my <laughs> oldest daughter would love a, a tale show. She loves tales. So. Yeah, that would be that'd the be next awesome. one. Like. Yeah. Knuckles and I, yeah, make a Tales show next. Like, that would be Tales, super fun. I would still yeah. watch it. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I'd still watch it. Absolutely. And uh, the voice casting for all of those roles, for Sonic, Tails, and for Knuckles, is perfect. Very good. So, Very good. Yeah, so utilize those guys as much as you can. Yes. Might, might as well, as long as they're willing to do it. 100% agree. So there it is. Patrons. Knuckles for you. Yeah, but Keanu Reeves' Shadow, what a great casting. Right, oh, I can't wait. It'd be amazing. <laughs> it's it's just perfect. It's like, hey, we need you to voice this, you know, version of Sonic that's just even cooler and <laughs> isn't afraid of using guns. Perfect. Sign me up. <laughs> isn't afraid of using guns. Oh, man. And honestly, I've not, like, consumed a lot of uh, Sonic. Like, I've played the old games. Like, I think I've played yeah. Sonic, Sonic 2, um... And maybe, well, I played, I played some of the, like, I played Sonic Racing, like some of the new stuff, like right. Sonic Mania, that stuff. So I don't know a whole lot about Shadow besides like some of the new, like that new show, I think it's called Sonic Prime that's on Netflix. Sfeo watched that and he's in that quite a bit, uh, mm-hmm. Shadow is. So like, that's the only stuff I really know Shadow from. And from, uh, from that, the only thing that I could tell is like, he's a cynical version of, of Sonic that yeah. skates instead of rules. <laughs> yep. Like it looks like he skates, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's no, it's like, I, I gotta remember the name of the game, but no, like legit. When I say use guns, like that, like that's a legit thing. They made a shadow, the headshot, like he has his own game and legit in, he uses guns in the game. <laughs> That's amazing. Like it, I it was to find that on Steam or it, something. It, it, yeah, <laughs> like even just look up videos of it. Like it's wild because they're just like, "Hey, here's Shadow the Hedgehog." And by the way, like he just uses guns <laughs> stuff. Like, and you're just like, "What? What? Are, is this way. from? Right? Is this from the same universe? Like, I gotta remember what the name of that game was, but it it's ridiculous mm-hmm. that they're just like, "This is a real thing. We're doing this." Perfectly balanced. Is all things should be scale of one to six. Maybe it could be a snap. Marvel to DC, board to video games, pop culture is we. We bros, universe, a community for you and me where we can converse. Movies, TV shows, you know that we got it. We have all six stones sitting inside of this gauntlet. Infinity.